Medical students have no life. What? At least that's what it seems like based on the questions I get regularly. Oof, that wasn't even a question, Colin. That one just hurt. Why are you pulling me? I'm right. I can't decide whether medical school will be worth it for you, but I can give you a transparent look into what a typical weekend in my life is like. Spoiler alert, med school is no joke, but it's not all studying either. Unless it's a really tough week or I've procrastinated too much on editing, I usually get Friday evenings off entirely to myself. One of the first things you realize when you start medical school is that you have to be very intentional with giving yourself time off. Medicine is so vast, there's an infinite amount of things that you can learn. So it's easy to feel like you're always going to be behind and that you always need to be working. The reality of it is though, is that if you don't give yourself clear breaks, not only will you not be productive because nobody can study 24 hours a day, but you will never rest. I'm very guilty of this. I'm trying to get better. That's why tonight, for example, I told myself no studying, no work, just go have fun. And that's the plan. Ooh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that kind of potion, just my kind of heat. Keep it on repeat, tested by the potion, loving this to potion. If you have work to do and it's just weighing on your head, like oh, I got this assignment or this essay or this exam to study for, I'd rather knock that out early in the morning and actually enjoy the rest of my day than stress about it and neither actually relax or actually study in the morning. So yeah, I wake up early still to study, but it's not a punishment. In fact, it lets me enjoy the weekend and it lets me wake up early on Monday because if you're waking up at 10 on Saturday, you can't really go back to 4.45, 5 on Monday. weekends, there's never a reason not to hit it hard. And again, it's not a punishment, but for me, working out is something that I look forward to. It's a great way to just think about nothing but working out. I don't do flashcards working out. I don't do questions when I'm working out. On this treadmill, maybe, on the Stepmaster, maybe, but lifting is lifting, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. Sports are similar. I mentioned before that you can do whatever you want in med school. You just have to pick what it is that you want to do. Sports are something I prioritize over the weekend because it's always been a big part of my life. If you're not into sports, there's so many other things you can do with your time. But to answer this question, yeah, there's time for working out for sure. And there's definitely time for sports too. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be able to stay sane. Cat, cat, shoot you off. Chain bullet. Uh, I hit him 52. Whoa, did he just jump and scout me? What the? By truck. Woo! Have a good night, boys. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, have peace out, guys. Later.
no, I'll go again. I never quit because I know that every loss may lead to another win. I'm going up. One of the biggest perks of going to medical school that you never hear about is that you enter an atmosphere of hunger and determination. Anything you can do, somebody else can do it better. However hard you're willing to work, somebody else is ready to work harder. And when you surround yourself with people who relentlessly pursue their dreams, they'll help you realize and reach for your own. I'm inspired every single day by my classmates, and the unwritten curriculum of personal development is at least as important as everything Thing you learn about physiology, pharmacology, and everything in between. Have a good one, man. And if I'm taking a shot, I don't miss. Who knew I would be at the top like this? And no one made my goals for me. But I'm exactly who I'm supposed to be. Cause it's the path that got chosen. So my buddy Rohan is a chess master. Doing this chess for charity. Consider this training for the upcoming chess boxing fight. I want to reroute my bishop to c7 and get my queen on d6. Good game, bro. It was fun while it lasted. Where did I go wrong? One of the things is, you know, figuring out the budget specifically for the clinic. TMI, but I came back from the gym and I haven't showered. Oh no, no, go shower. We'll talk. <laughs> All right, see you in a couple hours. Of course, of course. See ya. Yeah, that's me. Who that chilling at the top? Tell them, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. Tell them, yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm chilling at the top. Ooh, yeah, that's me. I'm low key realizing I'm setting a terrible example for this weekend because time is running out on a Sunday and I am so behind on pre work that I need to do. I think I just lost track of time. But I guess it's realistic because, to be honest, this happens more often than not. But anyway. Let's go to Costco. Sundays or Saturdays, I'll make enough food for the whole week. And I still do cook breakfast every morning and sometimes lunch, depending on what I have. But honestly, I think meal prepping is not a bad way to go. One of the things you want to keep in mind with meal prepping is that it's probably best if you enjoy the food you're making. If it's something that you see online and you're like, I just could not stand eating that, then don't make it. The food that I make here, I wasn't born enjoying this stuff. I like junk food probably more than anyone you'll ever meet. Slowly over time, I was able to clean up my diet and this is what I eat now. If this is too much of a change for you, don't go cool turkey. Slowly incorporate things that you think would be a good fit for you and slowly remove things that you think maybe too much of isn't so great. And even now sometimes I'm like, I kinda wanna eat junk and I do. So it's a balance I think, but meal prepping helps Helps me because when you're busy, the first thing you want to do is what's the easiest thing I can eat? Usually that's fast food, usually that's junk food. So today we're making uh, just some chicken, bell peppers, and mushroom, nothing fancy. Also, I barely know how to cook. If I can do it, you can do it, I promise. Hey guys, nice to meet you. My name is Ahmed. There's a lot of good ways to ask questions about social determinants of health. And finally, we have the policies and procedure document if you guys want to take a look at it there. It's a pretty big document. studying before tomorrow. Should I go to sleep right now or should I be a good student? Lame. Lame. Ugh. I miss you guys a lot. I would love to see you. I love you guys so much. And Nano, love you Nano. underestimated the amount of work that I had to do before tomorrow and do I wish that wasn't the case like yeah of course do I wish I was like asleep yeah of course but at the same time I've learned this the hard way it's never worth falling behind especially early on 
yeah, it's important to like take care of yourself and take mental breaks and all of that, but day one is tomorrow. I would really rather not be behind on the first day. So I'm just gonna do what it takes to get this done tonight and set up my plan for tomorrow. And that's the best that I can do. And I've realized that so much of it isn't even, you know, the physical getting things done, but being able to go to sleep at night comfortably saying, hey, I did everything I could do and that's pretty much it. Like what else can you expect from yourself? Especially with third year coming up where I know for a fact that there's always gonna be more to do. That's already the case now, but even more so then. So I'm uh, trying to train myself to be nicer to myself, but um, one step at a time, and that includes today. So I gotta get this done, and uh, no matter how long it takes, that's how long it takes.